Hey guys, King Mitch here, and today I'm gonna give you a tutorial of a song that I'm not good at. I'm not good at, but I'm learning it. It's called "I'm Yours" by Jason Mraz. <laughs> Don't know why I said it like that. Mraz by Jason Mraz. It's a like a 2000 song, I think. For this song, you're gonna need a capo. One of these things, if you can see it. Do I do I have to do it like a makeup tutorial person? So you're gonna need this, which is like a foundation. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why, because it's not the same color as the environment. Anyway, <laughs> so my camera's being a little bit finicky today. I, I can't zoom out, so that's why it's so zoomed in. So, I'm gonna have to have my guitar like this. But it, it will work. I'll make it work. Okay? <laughs> so, you're gonna put the capo on the fourth fret. So, about here. This fourth fret. So, you're just gonna stick it on there. Nice. Now, I'm just gonna do a run through. And then I'll teach you. It's only the intro, it's not the chords. I don't know the chords, I'm sorry. I, plus, I only do intros to songs. Because that's the only good part, like the intro of the riff. I only like those parts of songs. I don't like melody or chords. I know, I'm... It's, um... What's the word? I was going to say patronising. Hypocritical? No. What's the word when you, you, you need to do stuff but you don't? Procrastinating! That's the word. Cat. What do you want? <laughs> okay, anyway, I'm getting distracted. So, I'll just go through one for and then I'll start teaching you, so. That's it, that's the intro. It just repeats twice, I think. It's just like... Yeah. And I know my... I, I could see in the corner of my eye, my guitar was going up and down, so... Maybe this. That's better. There we go. So first, you're gonna start with these two fingers. The... the I don't want to show my face. These two fingers, yeah. You can see where I've been playing on my fingers. So you're going to grab your pinky and your ring your finger and you're going to put them on so pinky goes 6th string 3rd fret and then this the ring finger goes 3rd fret 5th string so it's like that So it's just easy and then you can go straight into the chord when you finish the slide. So yeah, it's just easier, so. You see what I'm doing? So you're gonna grab the two fingers and Put them on the strings that I told you, and you're gonna slide from three to five. So three, five, and then back to three. But as you go back to three, so three, five, three, as you go for the second three, you're gonna grab your middle finger and your pointing finger, and you're gonna put the middle finger on the top string, third fret, and the pointing finger, second fret. Fifth string, so. so it's kind of in this shape. There we go. That I've got a good eye on, so it's like that, or maybe even like that. And we'll just do this, and then I'll get into technability. So, so obviously.
obviously go 3 5 back to 3 strum. Now I don't know the pattern it's. So yeah, obviously, ah, oh, I'm pushing down really hard. So obviously, you do your slides and your strum with the chord. Then you let go of the two middle finger and pointing finger. Then you do it again. The slide to three and five. But this time, when you go back, you don't go back to the three. So you don't go... Instead, for the second time, we go. So what that will be is slide from three to five, and then to the second fret. So we'll go third, th third string, second fret. Then for your pointing finger, so there. Then middle finger will go six. First string, second fret, like that, and then your ring finger will go third fret, second um second string. So it makes this shape. There you go. You can see that. That's perfect. So it makes like a M or a W. have your first part, second part, and then third part, so what you do for the third and fourth part is when you have this chord you just let go of your middle finger, so you'd be in this chord and then you just let go of your middle finger, so you just have those two. And then you'd go. So that you would slide both fingers from second and third fret. Second and third fret. It's really difficult to say. To the fourth and fifth. So you'd slide from two to three to four and five. And then you let go. So, but at the same time when you let go, you pluck, so, so first part, second part, third part, and then fourth part. So for the fourth part and the last part, you'd obviously pick the two same strings, but on the third time, sorry, you would go, you would press down on the second string on the first fret. So like that. So obviously you go, that was stupid. No, that was stupid as well. So, first part. I know it's confusing. It's me. I, I'm the problem, as always. Um, I'm the problem. It's really confusing for me to explain because as I'm new to the guitar if I was on piano I better be mint <laughs> but this is just when you hear what I'm when you <laughs> in my head it sounds like I'm actually explaining really good <laughs> but I'm not but yeah that's what I'm trying to get at. So obviously, first part, if I can get the thing in the right position, I'm not gonna do the chord strumming, I'm just gonna 
This is the easy part. You just get rid of the strumming and the chords. So. So there's two parts. You can do the easy one where you don't add the additional chord for the first and no strumming. So it's just. the hard part which is what I was teaching you which I shouldn't have <laughs> uh, due to my skills of talking <laughs> um that's about it I don't I don't know I don't know what else to tell you really you, d you just learned that and you got it down so <laughs> four parts it's super easy and when you got them down if you actually are able to communicate to, 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 to communicate with me my voice you, you've got you've got it down <laughs> okay 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 I'm gonna go <laughs>